Hey, how's it going? I'm Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I would like to start over. Okay. Hi, how's it going? Don't touch the mic. Uh, this video we are going to be making uh, chili. We're going to cook the basics and we're going to make chili. It's going to be good and it's going to be good. So chili. Uh, I did not soak my beans. We are going to use two different kinds of beans and I'm going to weigh them out. I'm going to put my colander here on a scale that you can't see. Jeezy peeds, what is wrong with me today? Get it together, woman. All right, we're gonna start with weighing out the beans. Uh, I'll probably use about a pound of beans. Put my colander on my scale first before I turn it on and zero it. And that's on grams. I don't convert well. So we're gonna use pounds. Um, let's see here, we do eight ounces here of pinto and then eight ounces of red kidney beans. So make an even pound. Oh man, right on the money. You got them all weighed out. You want to sift through them to make sure there are no rocks. I haven't really found a lot of rocks when I cook beans, but I don't cook beans a ton. I just want to pour them out and look and, you know, if it looks like a rock, throw it away. If it looks like a bean, keep it. Uh, I see no rocks. All right, so now we put these back into our colander and we're going to rinse them really good in cold, fresh water. So we have washed the beans. Well, I mean, we haven't. I have. It could have been a group effort, but this time it was not. All right, we're gonna put the beans in the pan. Cover the beans with water, about two inches or so. Yep, and now uh, bring the beans to a boil. And once they boil for about one minute, then we're gonna turn the burner off, cover them up, and let them soak for an hour. Roll that beautiful bean footage. All right, real quick, it's been an hour. Uh, they soaked pretty good. Uh, I did turn the heat back on. I'm just going to let them boil um, with the lid on. Keep an eye on them, make sure that they stay covered in water. I'm going to let them boil for uh, about 45 minutes. I'm going to keep checking on them, see if they start getting soft. And as soon as they start getting soft, we'll drain them off and make our chili. So our beans have been uh, cooking for a little over an hour and they're very soft. I'm going to drain them and then in this pot here I'm going to cook a little bit of bacon and a little bit of ground beef to go with the beginnings of our chili. I've got six strips of bacon here. I'm going to go ahead and just cut those into bite-sized pieces. We don't want them big but we want to make sure that they're big enough you know that it's bacon. And the dog can smell the bacon and he is at my feet whining. So if you hear that, I apologize. Okay, so we're gonna take this six pieces of bacon here and we're going to put it into our pan that we have on high heat. Uh, well, medium high heat, not high heat, medium high. We wanna make sure that we cook that bacon until it's nice and crispy. Oh, it's already smelling so good. I love bacon, I love bacon. Cook that so it's crispy. Okay, our bacon is almost done. It's getting very crispy. It's smelling very delicious. Uh, while we do that, while that finishes up, I'm going to go ahead and chop an onion. I'm gonna do a whole onion, just a regular yellow onion. And I unfortunately forgot to buy bell peppers at the grocery store. I Fortunately, had frozen diced bell pepper in my freezer. Oh, this onion is not looking good. It's a good thing that we're okay with a rough chop for chili. Um, yes, frozen green bell pepper. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit. There's our onion there. Our bacon is so crisp and good. I'm gonna take this bacon out and put it into this bowl here that's lined with paper towels. Now I want some of that bacon grease. I don't want all of that bacon grease. So I'm gonna drain off everything but about a tablespoon off of that pan. And then we're going to put our onions in there. 
this and start to get nice and fragrant. They smell delicious. And then I've got about, eh, about a green, a whole green onion worth of diced frozen green onion, which I would have preferred a fresh one, but in a pinch, in a pinch it works. All right, we're gonna saute those until the onions are nice and soft. And then we're gonna add a couple cloves of garlic. So we're gonna put for this pot of chili, one and a half teaspoons of my already minced cheater garlic, which is approximately three to four cloves of garlic, depending on their size. I'm gonna saute for just a second while we open up um, this package of ground beef. This is a little over a pound. It's about a pound and a quarter of ground beef. And we're gonna go ahead and pour that right in there. And I'm gonna break that up. Now it's broken up. We're gonna let the hamburger meat cook a little bit while it is cooking before it gets going too much. I want to take some diced pickled jalapenos and I'm gonna go ahead and add that in now. I'm gonna add juice and everything. Two tablespoons worth. I'm gonna let that cook in with the beef and the onions and the bell pepper and the garlic. All right, so our ground beef mixture here with the onions and peppers and jalapenos is nice and done. I'm gonna add back in the bacon. And then I'm going to put my beans in there. That is my eight ounces of pinto beans and eight ounces of red kidney beans. Add that to it. And we're not gonna drain the beef. This is a pretty lean meat. It's a, um, it's a 90-10, 90% uh, 90, 90 beef, 10% fat. I'm going to go ahead and add a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes to my mixture here. And throw that right in there. Juices and everything. And then I'm going to add a six ounce can of tomato paste. Oh no, I don't know why I do that every time. Okay, all right. Yeah, that works. So I've got my tomatoes and my tomato paste in there. I'm going to add so two teaspoons of this base mix here equals one cup of broth. So I'm going to add four teaspoons of this to a cup of hot water because I don't need all the extra liquid because my beans are very soft. But I do want all that beef flavor. So I'm adding that to that. I'm gonna stir it up. And we can always add extra water if we need to. So we're gonna add this beef broth here. Or if you want to just get regular beef broth from the store, just make sure that you know you'll have to cook your chili longer to uh, reduce the amount of liquid from your beef broth. I'm gonna add that starting to smell really good in here. It looks great. It looks freaking great. So now on top of all that, we are going to add a whole bunch of spices. Two teaspoons of ground cumin, uh, one teaspoon of onion powder. And I know that there's onion in there, but onion powder has a slightly different flavor profile than just regular onion. So we're gonna add the onion powder. We're going to add just a, cause we don't want it super, super spicy. We're just gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon cayenne pepper here. And then we're going to add one teaspoon of onion powder for the same reason as the garlic powder. It is a slightly different flavor profile. Um, now I'm going to add 
one teaspoon of smoked paprika. Smoked paprika is amazing. Mm. Looks like I'm going to get a teaspoon and a half. Teaspoon and a half. Teaspoon and a half smoked paprika. And then we're going to add our chili powder. And for our chili powder, we want a whole bunch. We want a whole bunch. We need three tablespoons of chili powder. Then, top of all that, we want one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire? Worcestershire. Worcestershire? No, Worcestershire. On the website rachelsenglish.com, they say Worcestershire. Mm. Tablespoon and a half. Tablespoon and a half of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire? Worcestershire. Okay. This is going to be amazing. So I'm going to reduce the heat on this to about medium low. Let it homogenize. And uh, we're going to cook it for half an hour and then come back and see what it tastes like. So I'm take this chili here. I'm going to add some stuff to it. A little bit of uh, cheese to it. I like to add a little bit of sour cream. There you go. And then I like to put green onions on top of it. Some people like jalapenos. I'm good. I'm good like this. There's our tiny little taster of chili. And let's get a bite with a little bit of everything in it. Mmm. That chili. Mm, that chili is just freaking good. Damn, that chili is good. It's so good. You taste the bacon and a little smokiness to it. All right, I gotta stop. I gotta stop eating so I can talk. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you make this chili, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think or how it turned out for you. If you liked the video, click the like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. I know there's people lurking. I see you. Click the little bell icon. That way you get the notification whenever I post a video. And uh, I hope you guys try this chili because it's freaking great. And I will see you next time. Bye.